Okay, we're going to tie a CDC adult caddis. This is a Rennie Harrop design. Uh, I first heard about it in a book called Trout Flies by Dave Hughes. It's a good book and a good fly. I use uh, Type 3 CDC puffs for both the uh, wing and the legs on this fly. You start the uh, fly by putting the thread about a third of the way down the hook. Trim off your tag and then wrap to the uh, bend of the hook. And select the appropriate color of dubbing for the hatch you're trying to match. I've got some amber dubbing here. I'm going to use just a little bit of it. No tail on this fly, it being a caddis fly. Get enough on here to uh, start a body and I wrap to about the starting point of the thread. And build a little bit of a taper while I'm doing this. And with the body done, it's time for the underwing. And this is gray Zelon or black Zelon. And the whole strand is too much, so I just take a half of a strand, square off one end, and then uh, turn that so the squared off end will be sticking out over the bend of the hook. Make a couple wraps, loose wraps, just to uh, secure that onto the top of the hook. Pull it into place and now just slide it in to get the correct length. That's about right. And secure that down so I can trim it off. With the underwing on, it's time for the wing itself, and this is a CDC puff. You can use a uh, type, uh, well, pretty much any of the other feathers to, to make a wing like this, but the puff is very convenient. Roll it around a little bit in my fingers, make a wrap, put a little tension on this thread and pull this in just like I did the underwing to get the right length. Now, wrap back. I purposely tied this in quite a bit in front of the body so that I could wrap back towards the body while holding material up on top of the hook to uh, keep that wing up there. Trim that butt off. And wrap this down, make a nice foundation for the continuation of the fly. Once that's wrapped down, I'm just going to take a small amount of dubbing. Now this is a size 16 hook, so I really don't have much room to use up. Uh, so I'm going to tighten this dubbing up so that I can make a couple wraps and not take up too much space moving uh, towards the eye. But it's important to have a distinct segment between the base of the wing and the legs that we're going to tie in. Now you can just tie in uh, CDC fibers that you've stripped off uh, of another feather if you want to uh, make the legs on this fly. But what I do is take another puff and uh, wet and split the, the uh, fibers into a V like this. And then come up and mount this so that the fibers stick down on both sides of the hook. Secure that with a few wraps and check to make sure that it indeed uh, splits and goes on both sides of the hook shank. Cut that nub off.
and bind that down and dub a uh, head. I'm using the same uh, dubbing and you can use a darker dubbing certainly but uh, this is the same color dubbing and what it calls for and you see I'm not putting very much on here this is a 16 like I said this there's, there's only room for a couple wraps before I start to crowd the eye got that captured a little bit I'll tighten that dubbing up couple of whip finished knots pull that nice and tight trim that off spread these out and we'll take a look and see how it looks these are a little long I think these legs so uh, I'll stroke them down and uh, cut them off to the right length. Yeah, I, think, I don't think I have any wing captured in there. Yeah, that should do it. That's better. And there you have it. There's a CDC adult caddis tied using rotary fly tying techniques.